Leading the march today will be this banner uh, with the name of Shaban Aldula. Shaban was a 19-year-old lovely young man living in Gaza with his family, an articulate, intelligent teenager, and he was studying to be a software engineer. In this barbaric starvation war, we have displaced five times so far. Now we are in Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in the middle of Gaza, Dir al balah uh, I'm taking care of my family as I'm the oldest. I have two sisters and two little brothers and uh, my parents. We live in a very hard circumstances, suffering from various uh, things such as, such as uh, homelessness and uh, limited food and uh, extremely uh, limited medicine. And uh, the only things between us and the freezing temperature is uh, this tent that we constructed by ourselves. Uh, I made this uh, campaign to restart a new life in Egypt and uh, evacuate. Thank you. A week ago, Monday, that was the 14th of October, Shaban was, as far as we know from the media, was on a drip, an intravenous drip, receiving treatment uh, in a tent in the grounds of the Al-Aqsa Hospital in Gaza. He was lying on a bed when the Israelis bombed the compound. People shot videos of this horrific scene as Shaban and others, but Shaban was frantically waving his arms, still attached to his drip before being engulfed by the flames. These videos have gone viral on social media and have been seen by millions around the world, finally forcing the mainstream news outlets to cover it in their way. The horror of that moment has touched people's hearts. The death toll in Gaza already is truly staggering. Let's remind ourselves that at least 40,000 have been killed there might be another 10,000 bodies crushed under the rubble. And many more will die due to what makes call indirect deaths, due to destruction of hospitals, healthcare, sanitation, water supplies, and other essentials of life. The Lancet has estimated the final death toll already, if the killing stopped now, might be 200,000. Others have weighed in with higher estimates, up to a third of a million maybe beyond. And as we know, the killing isn't stopping now. Israel is using starvation as a weapon and clearing, let's call it ethnically cleansing, northern Gaza. It could be hard to comprehend these terrible and colossal numbers. But if there is any hope in this, it's that in every long struggle against injustice, there do come these galvanizing moments. The Amritsar massacre in India, the Sharkville massacre, the Soweto massacres in South Africa. Those, remember those pictures of those napalm children in Vietnam and many others. And then for a moment, people stop their busy lives and pause and take moment, take notice. So perhaps the tragic, tragic death of Saban and al might be one of another one of these galvanizing moments. Well, that's why we honour his name in the march today. Shaban al -Dula. say his name! Shaban al -Dula. say his name! Shaban al -Dula. say his name! Shaban al Thank you very much. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine.